Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the Whoopi Goldberg controversy? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing you in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll start with the background in this case, then I'll move to my analysis. Karen Elaine Johnson was born in New York City on November 13, 1955. She goes by the name Whoopi Goldberg, so that's the name I will use. She selected the name Whoopi because she said that she would get gassy on stage, and people would say to her, you're like a Whoopi cushion. Even though Whoopi's last name is Goldberg, she does not have any Jewish ancestors. Whoopi says that she feels Jewish and remembers Jewish holidays. So she doesn't observe them in any way, rather simply remembers them. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I guess she knows that the holidays exist and she thinks of them fondly. I'm not sure. Whoopi grew up in a public housing project and went to Catholic school. She dropped out of high school. In the early 1980s, she pursued a career as an actress and comedian. Whoopi has been tremendously successful. She has been on television shows. She has had leading and supporting roles in movies. She had her own talk show. She is one of only 16 entertainers in history who have won an Emmy Award, Grammy Award, Academy Award, and Tony Award. In September of 2007, Whoopi started a job as the moderator and co-host of a daytime talk show called The View. The show was originally started by Barbara Walters in 1997. It has been up and down in terms of popularity, but it averages about 3 million viewers per episode. On The View, Whoopi has been no stranger to controversy. For example, she has defended figures like Michael Vick, Roman Polanski, Mel Gibson, and Bill Cosby. In 2017, she compared Donald Trump to the Taliban. In 2019, she compared U.S. border facilities to a Nazi concentration camp. According to Judge Jeanine Pirro, during a heated argument, Whoopi told her to get the blank out of the building. On another occasion, she told Meghan McCain, who at that time was a co-host on The View, to please stop talking now. Perhaps Whoopi would have been wise to take her own advice. Whoopi has not restricted her controversial behavior only to public figures. During one commercial break, she scolded the audience, saying the booing is blanking us up. I would think that any audience booing The View is a smart audience who is offering the appropriate emotional response to the show. To be fair, in this specific instance, the audience was booing Donald Trump Jr., so it wasn't directed at Whoopi. This brings me to January 31, 2022. Whoopi Goldberg was talking with her co-host about how the graphic novel Mouse was removed from the curriculum of a Tennessee school district. This work is about the Holocaust. Whoopi started talking about the Holocaust. She said that the Holocaust was not about race, rather about man's inhumanity to man. One of her co-hosts replied to her by saying the Holocaust was about white supremacists going after Jews. Whoopi replied by indicating that both groups of people were white. She suggested the topic does not involve race, rather it's how people treat each other. Whoopi received a great deal of criticism for her remarks, including from the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt, who sent out a tweet which read, No, Whoopi, the Holocaust was about the Nazis' systematic annihilation of the Jewish people, who they deemed to be an inferior race. They dehumanized them and used this racist propaganda to justify slaughtering six million Jews. Holocaust distortion is dangerous. Whoopi acknowledged her error and apologized on Twitter, but by that time she had already recorded an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, which aired later that night. On that show, Whoopi sort of said the same thing as she said on The View, but also kind of apologized. Essentially, she said that she thinks of race as something that she can see. She was sorry that people misunderstood what she was saying. The next day on The View, Whoopi apologized again. She said that she misspoke. She didn't intend to upset people. She understands now why her words did upset people. 
She acknowledged that the Holocaust was about race because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Jonathan Greenblatt appeared on that same episode. He said there's no question the Holocaust was about race. That's how the Nazis saw it as they perpetrated the systematic annihilation of the Jewish people across continents, across countries, with deliberate and ruthless cruelty. Even though Whoopi acknowledged her mistake and apologized for it, ABC decided to suspend her for two weeks, calling her comments wrong and hurtful. She is to use this time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Reportedly, her co-hosts are angry with ABC about the suspension, and many celebrities have defended Whoopi Goldberg. Now moving to my analysis. This is one of these cases that creates strong feelings on both sides. Many people would like Whoopi Goldberg to stop making false statements about serious topics, but at the same time, many people value freedom of speech. Whoopi Goldberg has a history of saying things that don't make a lot of sense. One could argue that's the foundation for the television show, The View. Without nonsensical, irritating, painfully boring, and less than insightful statements, the episodes would only be about three minutes long. I don't think Whoopi Goldberg's statements about the Holocaust were intended to be hurtful. I also don't think that they reveal that she is anti-Semitic. I think her statements were a clumsy attempt to express her opinion. I believe what she was trying to say is that she has a particular view of race as a black person. To her, for someone to be of a different race, they need to be of a different color. What she doesn't understand is that race can be defined in many different ways. The Nazi party believed that the Jewish people were of an inferior race. That's how they justified committing genocide. Race is a complex construct which is confusing to many people. How people define race has changed over time, and it can be different depending on where someone lives in the world. Whoopi Goldberg, or anybody for that matter, has the right to discuss race. The problem for Whoopi is that she introduced false information alongside her opinion. If she had simply said, I'm confused about how race was defined in the Holocaust as compared to how it's defined these days in America, like if she appeared to be looking for information, she just wants to talk about race, nobody would have had a problem with that. But what she did was to express an opinion that had underlying false statements. She really wasn't opening up a discussion as much as she was making a definitive statement. The reality is that sometimes when people try to have a discussion, they don't always do it perfectly. Whoopi Goldberg made a mistake. The point that she was trying to make, which was really about her way of viewing race, was lost in that mistake. Her false statements became the big story. Everything else was washed away. I am not a fan of Whoopi Goldberg. I think she's a good actress, and some of her comedy work was okay. But she simply does not have the temperament to be in a position of responsibility. Even still, I would rather tolerate the risk of her ill-advised attempts at initiating discussions as opposed to eliminating any attempt to start a conversation at all. On the Stephen Colbert show, Whoopi said, I thought we were having a discussion. She later acknowledged her statements were false and said, I'll take your word for it and never bring it up again. I think that's a very telling statement. Whoopi has been shut down. She will not make the same error again. She realizes the discussion cannot move past the mistake she made. The point she was trying to make will never come out, so she's going to give up. I don't want people to give up on having discussions. Promoting understanding between people is never accomplished by discouraging conversation. I disagree with Whoopi being banned from The View for two weeks. This is nothing but punitive, and it teaches the wrong lesson. Members of society cannot be afraid to have difficult and unpleasant conversations, in which people occasionally say things that are ill-advised and untrue. An open and free dialogue between people can be painful. It can be offensive. Feelings can be hurt. It may contain false statements. But it is the hard work that is necessary to understand one another. Cancel culture and moral panic, which are really quite similar, are intellectually lazy. They are promoted by people who want to control others more so than empathize with them. Cancel culture is not about holding people accountable. It's about creating a culture of fear. 
a culture where no one will be willing to talk about serious topics like the Holocaust because they're afraid that they're going to say something that is incorrect. Even if they say something unintentionally, people will believe that they're somehow racist or sexist or ableist or some other terrible state. It is quasi-delusional thinking. It's magical thinking. It's like these little statements, these little mistakes, reveal the true nature of a person when scientific evidence simply does not support that. Cancel culture is creating a paranoid state where anyone with a dissenting or non-conforming idea who wants to have a thought-provoking discussion will start to believe that it's safer to remain silent. Cancel culture is a tactless, rude, and primitive attempt to win a conversation without having to use one's ability to reason. It's offensive to intellectually curious, insightful, and thoughtful people. Cancel culture has no place in a just society. I would rather live in a society where cancel culture loses, even if that means listening to the opinions and nonsense of Whoopi Goldberg. Those are my thoughts on the Whoopi Goldberg controversy. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.